to the Solar Decathlon Minute. While today's a big day, tomorrow is the big show. Here is event director Richard King to bring us right up to the minute. I am so proud of these decathletes. Nowhere in the world will you find 14 homes built in nine days other than right here at the Solar Decathlon. Congratulations to you all. Now let's go see Tom Myers and see how accurate yesterday's predictions were. I predicted that Crowder would be done at noon. Well, they missed it by a little bit, but four o'clock, they're done, excellent. Sacramento, I thought maybe noon, but I hadn't walked over there to see them. They got a little ways to go. Probably end of the day today. Texas, I thought it was gonna be noon, but they had a few snags. Looks like they're getting it together. Hopefully noon today. New York Tech, think it's sometime today. Maybe by the end of the day, maybe tomorrow. Clemson, noon yesterday. Uh-oh, how about imminently right now? UC Davis, I thought would be done sometime yesterday, and they were done sometime yesterday. Last one, last night. Massachusetts, Central America, thought they'd be done sometime tomorrow, looking like they're gonna maybe be done today. Team OC, I thought would be done yesterday. They're really a complicated house. Maybe the end of the day today. Buffalo, noon yesterday, almost hit that one on the nail, 1.30. West Virginia, Rome, thought it would be done today. I still think it'll be done today. Alfred, boy, those guys are really working hard over there. Still think they might get done today. <laughs> I was really bad, wasn't I? <laughs> Not too bad, Tom. You got four right, five wrong, and two pending. You're beating Vegas. Today, the construction crew passed the torch to the communications crew. Each team welcomed members of the press and answered their questions today. Writers, photographers, and videographers from around the country got their first looks at these incredible properties, which works out to be sort of a warm-up for tomorrow's big show. The opening ceremony will take place tomorrow in the historic Hangar 244 beginning at 10 a.m., where the public is invited to hear the Secretary of Energy's opening comments, after which Secretary Moniz will cut the ribbon, officially signifying the opening of the U.S. Department of Energy's Solar Decathlon 2015. Come to the ribbon cutting tomorrow at 10.45 a.m. and you can be amongst the first to enter the best ever solar village in history. We'll see you for tomorrow's episode of the Solar Decathlon Minute.